This section tests the candidate's ability to analyze a group of words with respect to the diagrams, how they correlate. Let's get started. Logical Venn Diagrams. Let me explain this with some diagrams. Here each circle represents a class and these classes are in such a way that they are independent of each other. Something like for green I can write it as apple and for red I can write as mango then for blue I can write as orange. These are three fruits where each belong to a separate class. Now look at this. Here we have a superclass, then inside that a subclass, inside that another subclass. So think of an example for that. Alright, I hope you have an answer. For the highest class, let me give it as living beings. Then for the first subclass, let me write it as humans. And the internal subclass, let me write as man. And it's pretty clear. All men are human beings. All human beings are living beings. Now look at this. Now here we have three different classes where there is an intersection in two of the classes. There is again an intersection in another two classes. Okay. For this, let me give this example. Let me think the blue as government employees. And let's take the red as men and the green as women. There could be few government employees who are males and there could be few government employees who are females and there could be few females who are not at all government employees and few men are not government employees. Because these two are independent, they are separated. Now look at this. Here all the classes are mixing at some point. There is an intersection between the red and the blue and there is an intersection between the blue and the green and also an intersection between green and the red. For this, let me give an example like this. For the red, I will take it as teens and for blue, let me take it as smart or intelligent and for green, let me take it as bad. So this common intersection for all the three is something like there could be a teen who is bad as well as smart. And this part says that there could be a teen who is smart and this is a teen who is bad and this is the one who is smart as well as bad. I hope you are able to make out. Let's try one more. So here we have two classes mixing but one is independent. So for the red let me take it as animal and for the blue let me take it as dog which is a subclass of the animal. And for the green, it is an independent class. So let me write as mango. And it's pretty obvious, mango is a fruit. It does not belong to animal or the dog. I hope you are clear with this. Now let's get into the questions. Here is a question. They're saying vegetables, potatoes, and cabbage. Once we read this, we are very clear. Potato is actually a vegetable. Even cabbage is a vegetable. And between these two, there's no intersection. So the best option here is B, where this is vegetable, this could be potato and this could be cabbage. Let's try one more. Metal, iron, chlorine. Is there a connection between any of the two words? Yes. Metal and iron belong to same class. Chlorine is different. Now in this, metal is a superclass and iron is a subclass. So the best option is E. In this, this is metal, this is iron, and this is the chlorine. Let's try the last one. Square, rectangle, and a polygon. If you remember what you have learnt in your schooling, you can easily answer this. Look at this. Square is a subclass of rectangle, and rectangle is a subclass of polygon. So I can say every square is a rectangle and every rectangle is a polygon. So the answer is A. This is the polygon 
this is the rectangle and this becomes the square. Sometimes instead of a circles, they may give you different geometrical figures, but the logic remains the same. Let's try one question. Look at the question. Here we have a circle which says it's a college professor. Then we have a rectangle which represents the medical specialist and then a triangle which represents the surgical specialist. Now based on this figure, we need to answer the questions. In the diagram, we have some alphabets which represent the different shades in the diagram. Something like if you look at Y, Y is a common region for the college professors, the medical specialist, even the surgical specialist. Then look at X, X is common for college professors and medical specialist, but it is not combined with surgical specialist. So that is how we identify based on the overlap, we can find out what the data represents. Now let us solve this question, the first question says, college professors who are also surgical specialists are represented by. So we need to look for intersection between the college professors and surgical specialists. And if you carefully observe, that intersection is this part. Therefore, the answer is D. Look at the second question. Surgical specialists who are also medical specialists but not college professors. So we need to take surgical plus medical excluding the college professors and if you carefully observe this is the region now we are excluding this because this is uh, the college professors so the alphabet is z therefore option d look at the third question c represents what and it's pretty clear c represents surgical specialists therefore option b and the last question b represents what the B is this part, which is medical specialists, which excludes college professors and even surgical specialists. Therefore, option A. That's it for logical Venn diagrams. Practice well.